Hello. Well, you're alive. Uh, yes. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? Like shit. I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Good. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Oh, dear. Um... I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Oh, I don't want you to be the love interest, jeez. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. Oh, awesome. I'd hate to have lost my hat. And, uh, what will you do now? I'm going to own his face. Now I'm going to take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. Um, uh, I guess. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. No, ma'am. Madam. Miss. Oh, good. Well, I'm going to see my side is really sore. There's a man doing some stuff. Hello, everyone. I'm not sure I should be running in this condition, but okay. Well, do, 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 do. Oh, wow, this is quite a ranch you've got going on here. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hello, madam. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Well, just about. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. I'll walk with you. Okay. I know what's going to happen. We're going to walk over to these horses and then take them for a ride around the ranch. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. Pfft, wow, how rude. So that's that. I picked out a fine horse for you. Oh, God. Your house, your horse is really weird-coloured. No offence. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. Mine's lovely. I will call him George. Come on, big boy. Come on, George. There we go. Oh, I like how they're leaving little ho hoof prints. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Awesome. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. No, actually, that is very true. That's quite something. Come on, horsey. Oh, Jesus. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. It's very nice. I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses. How dare you, madam? Now, where'd you get such an idea? Come on, Mr. Marston, pick up the pace. Oh, God, okay. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't no. think I like this, like, speeding up thing. I'm not a big fan of it, where you have to sort of... Ah, oh, there we go. Sure we have to sort of tap yeah, X to speed up. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. I agree with that. 
Fuck it up, little hussy. Yeah! My side really hurts. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself. I can't. I can't girl. look at both. I can't look at both and ride. Oh. See, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. Come on. Come on, horsey. Good boy. Are you bored of the ranch already? Yes. Yes, I am. Let's go and do something else, Come like on, shoot boy. men. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. Okay. He's a good horse. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. They are quite nice. Like, you can save your horse. It's, it's like GTA. You're a good horse. Hmm. Come on, this way. This way. Come on. Let's go. Come on, boy. This is gonna take me forever to work out. No, turn. Come on. There we go. Chin my horse, pressing the wrong button, hitching my horse. There we go. I've hitched it. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Hello. Let's go. Let's do this. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Oh, actually, I'll go for that. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. That's very kind of you, actually, considering you've no idea who I am and you're an unmarried lady. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Yep. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Oh, it's a date, is it? Okay. I know your game, Missy. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. Oh. Good, okay. Mount my horse. Hello, horsey. You ready? Just getting me... Getting me horse ready to go. Let's go. Keep your eyes open, and try not to get yourself shot again. How dare you? I'm not gonna get shot. I'm perfectly capable. Sometimes. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is going to end very badly. I don't have enough fingers and thumbs if we have to have a fight and I have to move my horse and shoot. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Oh, okay. Go on, get in your, your hitching post. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pot. You got one! Good shot! There we go. You're better at shooting rabbits than outlaws, I see. Screw you! You're a good shot, Mr. Marston. That rabbits didn't stand a chance. I know. I'm rather good at it. My horse is doing a victory dance, which is more me trying to turn him round and... Oh, Jesus. Like, calm yourself, George. Calm. Calm. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. Okay. Giddy up! Yeah! Little doggy. I know you didn't pick those rabbits up, so um, you know they're not going to go in your pot. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Huh? Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Oh my God. Oh, this is going to end in tears. Press R3. Oh, yeah. That was insane. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm trying to ride. The horse doesn't want to know. Come on. Come on, boy. Here we go. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shoot, shoot, you bastard. Don't reload. Oh, god damn. Jump. There we go. Don't steal our bloody chickens. I'm not having this. Yep. And then we've got one more. Which is round here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, that dead eye thing's a little bit interesting. I need to work on that. Let's go! You know, you can actually handle a rifle. Yeah, I know, I just can't handle a horse. <laughs> Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's reload. Okay, madam. Yeah. Let's do this. I thought there were supposed to be bandits. Are there no bandits? I'm mighty confused. Mighty's the thing they say, isn't it? I'm mighty confused. Your horse is in my way. Come on, say something. Can't just keep walking in silence. Here we are. Oh. Is that it? Okay, I'm trying to turn it. Doesn't want to know. Right, hitch up. There we go. Good boy, George. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Okay, bye-bye. I'm not sure you're supposed to leave your horse saddled. That's, uh... Supposed to give it like a, a rub down and put a blanket on it, aren't you? Sure, let's have a snooze. Let's have a snooze with my gun on my back. Yes. Oh, what a lovely. Oh, the moon's still up. What? Eh? This isn't right. Is it? Go to the B on your map to speak with Bonnie McFarlane. Come on then, horse. Come on, George. Georgie boy. Oh, I've begun earning the loyalty of my mount. Oh my god. That's a bit far-fetched. Come on, George. You can go up here. You're allowed up here. Oh, you're not. Okay. Whoa. Doggle? Okay, I'm gonna get down. Oh god, no I'm not. You behave yourself. Okay? You be a good boy, George. I'm watching you. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? You should well, knock before you, Thank you. just you? walk in. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I do mind. I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. Uh. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and... By telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize <laughs> okay. if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Big word. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. 
I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. Oh, wow, she's getting annoyed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Uh, no, I can. I just can't. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. Oh, no. We'll this see. is going to end badly. I'm going to end up crashing George into a ditch or a, a house or something.